I think I do need a cool off run though. I'm gonna play this ship and I'm gonna do the challenge I'd reckon I had mentioned before. So uh Kestrel B is basically I wanna use I wanna only allow basic laser type things. Yeah, I've done a one crew challenge on NG, NGB as well. So basically this ship is meant to be a gunship, so I'm thinking we only allow lasers that are of the same type of basic laser. So that means any type of burst laser, chain lasers are allowed, and Vulcans allowed. So lots. Of, so we basically want to turn this to into a pew pew ship, is what we're going to go for here. So that's what we're going to do. This is this is so I can kind of recover from kind of a bullshit start to our our runs today. Um, put you on shields. Nope, heavy lasers are not allowed. Somebody had said this ship only needs to have two or less power weapons. I don't like that because that's like... I don't think what that's what this ship was intended to be. This, is, this ship was intended to be lots and lots of little lasers just peppering an enemy. That's how I'm going to interpret this one. Lasers, burst lasers, chain lasers, Vulcan, charge lasers. Yeah. Yeah, chain, charge, burst lasers, basically. It's a Star Wars ship. There you go. <laughs> it's a Millennium Falcon. Um... All right, let's go ahead and try to be a hero. One damage per shot lasers. Hey, there's, there's, that's a great way of describing it. Yeah, that's actually that might be the best way to describe it. Um, although you could count whole lasers for that because if you shoot a room, they're a one damage weapon. Um, I wonder, do all these lasers have like a small fire chance? Is that the only thing they can do? I wonder. Nice. Uh, more generous bribe. Still not very much scrap. You, sir, need to learn the definition of generous. Let's pew-pew all of the ships. Let's pew-pew all of them. No, One damage no matter what per shot lasers. There you go. We're going to really... We're going to narrow this down. This ship does not start with an augment, does it? No. Okay. Okay. Trying to decide if I want to go to the store, get level 2 uh, piling, and go into the nebula. Hey, what do you know? A frickin' missile. More generous buy gives less scrap than before. Hey, but there's more fuel! Yeah, screw you. It's the beginning of the run. I don't need fuel. I need scrap. Okay. That was pretty good dodges for you, but at least we got the missile offline. You just imagine Kestrel B with four heavy lasers. <laughs> oh, that would be... That would be OP as hell. Alright, could you... Stop dodging so much crap, please, game. What the hell? Look at these freaking dodges. How is this missile back online? Give me a goddamn break, man. Jesus, man. I've had enough shitty RNG for the day. Could I please not have so much shitty RNG that I just keep taking damage? Oh my god, he almost dodged that entire volley to get out there's less fuel actually initially was four really so the the more generous bribe was just less generous in every way that must have been a slug offering that deal there were two drone parts in the generous bribe okay four artemis missiles you know if i had to do a missile only run really did i not save my positions i think i would prefer that to any other missile setup Four Artemis missiles would actually be really good. You'd run out of missiles like crazy, but if they like started you off with that and a um, uh, what you might call it, a uh, let's go here first. Missile explosive replicator that would actually be worthwhile. Okay, long range scanners. Oh god, and a flak one, but I'm not allowed to use that. Okay, long-range scanners are amazing. That's a great start. I would love to get automated reloader because those are good for basically all any weapon setup we would look for for this ship, but long-range scanners is too good. Missile only run next. No. <laughs> no. I have altered the deal. Pray I do not alter it further. That's right. I rarely watch streams, but to be honest, many years ago when it became popular, every stream had at least 20 to 30 second delay and that just killed it for you. Yeah, I could see that. Right, save my positions. Sorry, I didn't hit my weapons. That's good. There we go.
Nice. All right, so we need to get uh, second shield next, and then we look for a weapon. If I'm gonna follow my own my own guide's advice. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get the value point first, so that in case we run into a guy who has free hacking. Attack the pirate, the irate pirate. Am I gonna do chain lasers as well? I am allowing chain lasers. I'm not gonna like force any weapon. I'm just going to. We basically restrict our wep restricted our weapons choices for this as intended challenge. So I'm uh, basically restricting it to a certain laser type. So ship has a very simple path, pew pew. It, it's the path of the pew pew. I left a like on your video. Thanks, Kenny. Appreciate that. Thanks, man. Okay. Um, so I need 12 more scrap and I can get shields. I also need power and then we can look towards a weapon. You really only watch vids on YouTube? Yeah. Okay. Attack the pirate. All right. Let's hope these don't line up within the first three volleys. The ship with like with four times burst laser too. This is what peak performance looks like. There you go. That would be kind of the um that would be us high rolling. Four burst laser twos, double Vulcan, four chain lasers. You know, oh that's a really good deal. Okay, healing burst, but nice. The lasering, <laughs> the lasering. Uh, do I go to the store to sell the heal bomb? I mean, what if first laser two for sure? Let's go for it. Do you remember story with my Twitter account? Uh, it was something about things to do with Russia. Something about you liked my tweets too much that they thought you were a robot or something. I think I believe it was something like that. You liked all of my tweets. So they thought you were a Russian bot liking all my tweets. A time to buy teleporter and pretend you're slug B. No thanks. <laughs> Let's change our challenge to the failed one from earlier. So now, Kenny, you're going to like all my YouTube videos and the Russian internet's gonna think you're a bot again and ban your ban your YouTube account. Because your your Twitter got banned, that's what it was. Your Twitter got banned because it thought you were a like bot for my channel or something, for my Twitter account. That happens to my mother's Twitter account. They spent it because they thought she was a bot for your Twitter. <laughs> your mom liking your Twitter too much. That's funny. Come on, Twitter. Get your act together. Let my mom like my tweets. Well, sad to say my mom's never liked any of my tweets. So sad. All right. This has actually been a really good first sector. We got second shield and long range scanners. Unrock A, what do you think is the worst ship in the game? Slugby, the one we did earlier. Uh, Fed C, I actually think is terrible. Because it has no weapon and flak artillery is so slow early. Um, yes. A ship, but I can sell my missiles. I like it. Zoltan or civilian? Well, I hate Zoltans, and Zoltans always kill me, so let's go civilian. Okay. Alrighty, so we are looking for... We're basically looking for burst lasers and chain lasers now. Your brother really likes Fed C for some reason. I mean, if you like flak a lot, and you can get over the fact that... You know, flak artillery sucks for 80% of the run. Unless you spend way too much scrap on it, then maybe it can be good. I only need one shield here, so let's do this. Okay, no dodge, but that's fine. Although, maybe he likes it for the Zoltan boarding. I mean, I've had people tell me they like Fed C for the Zoltan boarding. I'm like, that's like the worst reason to like that ship. Here's echoes of distant flackenings. <laughs> All right, joke lad. <laughs> uh, it's not a bad deal, but I want more scrap. 
As terrible as FedC is, you oddly enjoy suffering with it. You're the person who mentioned the FedC double glay beam on YouTube, by the way. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, th I think I responded to that earlier. Yeah, that was... That's that's a that's a crazy run that you described. Fully upgraded flak artillery is actually a whopping 15 scrap cheaper than hacking. There you go. There you go. I was wondering about that. I, I didn't want to take the time to do the math because I was getting ready for my stream to start when I made that comment. So basically, if you get flak if you get the flak artillery maxed, that's basically a 20 second you know, full disruption of their shields. Um, and it's 15 scrap cheaper than max artillery, uh, max hacking, I guess. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, store. Okay, that actually connects. That's pretty good. I have a good amount of scrap. Let's go one, two, three, four, quest, and then across here. Yeah, what about the power? Uh, so it's four. It takes one extra power. So that's another thing to keep taking into consideration. So if you factor in power costs, it might be even more even, even more even. However, power is a different cost the higher you go. So the cost of power scales up. I guess is the right way to say that. I think you'll stick to flak ones. Me too. <laughs> um. It's a more expensive flak too that can be faster, I guess. It's free. It's not really free. It costs you the ability to get another system. So it's calling it free is a little disingenuous, I feel. It costs you getting cloaking, hacking, mind control, teleporter, or something like that. Well, not teleporter because the ship does start with teleporter, but whatever. Hey, what's up, Butter Shark? How are you doing? All right, a free crew. It's a human, but he's free. Okay. All righty, we're hoping for some, some weapon, some laser type weapon from this door. Okay. Please don't hack shields or weapons. Oh, that pilot is pretty bad too. So no dodging his missiles here. Oh, that's I think a level two hacking right there. Okay. Great. All right. One damage missile, at least. Nice. Beautiful. Do, do, do. I'm doing okay, Butter Shark. I got pretty salty earlier. Anytime I'm yelling at chat, you know I'm getting salty. And I don't like doing that. But... When I'm losing... When I'm, when I'm feeling like the game is being unfairly... RNG screwage. I sometimes get salty and lash out a bit. Double reward is great. I made this shit, by the way. I wonder how long is this game? What? How old is this game? 2012. So, seven years? Something like that? <laughs> You've gotten used to me yelling at you? Well, you know, so many streamers have to deal with people yelling at them in their chat all the time. I guess I'm just returning the favor. <laughs> that's just excuse. Wow, that's two flak ones I've seen in a run where I'm not allowed to get flax. I'm sad. Damn, I saw 85 and I was hoping for missile defense. I guess I can get expensive missile defense right now. Maybe we can ask you to do some calculus later. Yeah, that'll make me not so mad. You know what? That's probably the reason I get mad and yell when I play um, Kerbal Space Program. Because it's math, and I'm trying to do it on stream. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to get the missile defense. This is really inefficient. But since I can't get an offensive upgrade, i got to get a defensive upgrade. It's karma for angry viewers. There you go. You first played in 2013, back when Kenny was only five years old. I thought you've always been 12. <laughs> Purple Space Program, I thought you said Firework Simulator. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I get the missile offline before it fires. I don't think I do. Because these missiles are always pretty fast firing. Whew! Beautiful. All right, didn't waste a drone part. Love it. To be fair, Kerbal can be super frustrating to start. Well, I mean, I've been playing it for a few weeks now, and I have a good basic understanding of the game. The problem is... That game literally is rocket science, so 
when I'm asking chat for help and it's like, well, you got to go retrograde and burn it three, five seconds before you hit the, you know, anti-normal. And it's like all these words just make my brain hurt. If this was a lot of drone parts, I'd take this deal. And that's a lot of fuel. That's actually a really good deal. But it's just, I just want scrap right now. You've never played Verbal Space Program, but it looks fun. It's very fun. I feel like if I started a Kerbal Space Program, I would be staring at the screen drooling, screen drooling, trying to understand for hours. <laughs> if you ever need help, just add more thrusters. Great. Two, three, four, five, six. I think I get six with going through double uh, nebula, so we'll probably go that way and get level two piloting. Although, I will know if it'll be worth getting level two piloting because I have long range scanners. That's a terrible deal. And that's a sun. Oh, but I don't have a choice, so I guess we're going to the sun. Verbal space program sounds like a language course for alien languages. <laughs> it does. By the way, computers on international space stations have Windows 95 as their operating system. Makes sense. Less likely to bug out or something than Windows 10. <laughs> What's the challenge? Currently only allowing single damage lasers of all types. Single damage of any type lasers. I think that's how we decided to call this one. If I catch a KSB stream with Iran, feel free to hit me up for advice. Well, when we play Kerbal Space Program, I usually have about 10 to 15 people who can give advice, and that's part of the reason I get a little overwhelmed. But uh, I will like the advice. I will probably ask for it. I don't think I get five here, so I think I can, we would either need to go one, two, three, four, and I don't think that'll work. I think I actually have to go double dive here. So, and I can't, I can't even upgrade my piling because it's goddamn triple hazards here. This is stupid. Uh, I'm going for beating every ship on hard, and I'm on stealth B. Feels like there's not enough scrap to go around. Have flak one plus glaive, but only four weapon power. No shields on sector three. Have hacking, but only two cloak. Any tips on next upgrade? Um, it sounds like, did you spend scrap on flak and the hacking? You shouldn't have spent scrap on both. If you spent scrap on the, the hacking and then got the flak one for free, that's okay. But you might need to change how you got those things because it is very it is very difficult i don't have the protection from manually search so i gotta avoid the risk and hope hope i get the same event right here um i'm gonna get two power i can't get two power great i don't think i'll get two event two of the same event in a row but whatever um i would say probably focus on hacking right now Okay, that's good. That's free stuff. Rather than trying to go for um, getting the flak online, which is going to cost you probably 125 scrap, just get hacking level 2 to deal with two shield ships. It's probably going to be your best bet. But that ship is tough. It's, for some, to some people, it's the worst ship or the most difficult ship, so it's a tough one. I would rather either use Windows 98 or XP if I could help it. All right. Okay, let's see if we're going to win this everywhere here. The Mantis wins. There we go. We're good. And there's a video. Um, I don't know what that video is, but if it's from Pie Boy, it's probably... Uh, I don't, I don't know that my tutorial video would help much on... If you're linking the tutorial, the guide video, it probably won't help much for, for Stealth B. Because <laughs> my first my first uh, recommendation is get level 2 shields, and you can't do that on that ship. You've been keeping my O2 below 50% depowering weapons. They shoot to mess with the priority list so enemies don't hit out my weapons. That's the Stealth B how to win. Okay. Yeah, maybe check out Stealth B how to win. The other thing I would say is, if you haven't upgraded to level 3 cloaking yet, that should have been one of your first things to do. So you might be past the point of success, I don't know. But yeah, you're doing something goofy soccer that I, I don't even do. But that's a, that's a good strat that I know a lot of other people use, so. Are you also yelling at this game in my guide video? No, I'm much, 
I'm much less salty in my guide video. <laughs> Although I do, I don't yell at my, I don't yell at the game. I do vent myself in the video though, because I talk too much. All right, that's a pretty good amount of scrap. I do vent humans, namely this human. Okay. You didn't get three cloak because I figured I can avoid getting hit critically more with that strat. Okay. That's probably the reason I don't do the uh, change priority thing. All right, let's get uh, let's get the crew kill here. Keep his weapons down and then just wait for him to die slowly, slowly but surely. I prefer the level 3 cloak because it's a cheaper way to have defense, and then I can focus on looking for shields or hacking. Because it's just the first 50 scrap goes into that, then maybe a power, and then you're good to start looking for stuff to... Damn, we're going to take damage, aren't we? Oh, we dodged. Thank you. Wow. That was a lot of dodges. Bankard Dapple, what a name. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. Let's actually go into the sensor so we can see how long. There we go. Do, 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 do. But yeah, personally, in your to see your situation, if you don't have shields yet, you kind of need to just kill everybody really fast. So I would go for hacking, probably. Funneled into asteroid fields by sector. Ooh, that's that's always a pain. Wow. Wow, that was a lot of dodges, man. There we go. Just making sure we don't take damage here. All right. Nice. Ooh, double reward. Very nice. NG controlled. All right. We skipped NG last time to go to Zoltan because, you know what? We really got baited with that, um, with that stasis pod. I just need to never take that ever. Just never do it ever. Especially not on these challenges. I need to be, I need to be playing optimally. And getting the stace damage stasis pod was a suboptimal play. Okay. I think if your ship has no sensors, enemy runes with modules should be marked as question mark. Like there's something here, but you don't know exactly what. Huh? So, oh, so I don't even know what rooms to shoot at? Oh, that's... <laughs> That's terrifying. Holy crap. So I don't even know what weapon room and how does he still have shields? That is like four volleys four volleys and he still has a shield online. What the hell? Holy crap the game The weapon you passed up for the state spot could have been anything even a second heal bomb It could have been anything and anything would have been more useful than a stasis bot because I could have sold that even if it was a crappy weapon and got more stuff online so Getting the stasis pod is just always a bad play unless you actually get the crystal sector, which is so rare and unlikely to happen that it's like never the right play unless you're just trying to unlock the thing. And since I'm not trying to unlock the thing and I'm just trying to win runs, it was a it was a bad it was an it was a misplay. Getting that was a misplay. Alright, he's got a big just he has a big giant missile, but we have defense drones, so it should be fine. Um, okay, let's do this. What is the intended use for the ship that you're doing right now? Oh, yeah, only one damage lasers. Um, and by that, we mean one damage per shot. So we can use things like basic la uh, burst laser twos and threes and stuff. Chain laser and all that kind of stuff. Okay. All right, he is going to get them shot off. I maybe should have gone for weapons there. Wow. So not only did I waste a drone part, but I took the four goddamn damage anyway, because this game is bullshit. So thanks, game. Appreciate that. 
Can I drop some frames? Nope, I have zero drop frames. All right, well, I actually got that... <laughs> I actually just got the missile he shot me with, so... I guess we'll let it slide for now, FTL. I actually just got the weapon he shot me with, which is super rare. <laughs> Have to leave. See you on Thursday, boys. All right, see you, King JJC. Can you share some advanced tips? Also, when is my tutorial video coming? Uh, the tutorial video, I released it yesterday. So it's it's there. <laughs> I just did it. Uh, that Can't See Rooms is part of FTL Captain Edition Edition. Uh, advanced edition the mod files have been corrupted I would never want to play with that challenge what if you made the intended strap for rocket reach the crystal sector <laughs> oh man talk about a challenge well then we would just be playing that for like every stream for like a year until it happens because it's so rare um, I need to find a I need to find a weapon right now yep check the YouTube it's the latest video I added can I get the mantis this time? Nice. Okay. Hacking drone. You know what? The one that I'm okay with hitting is piloting, so I'm actually going to try to defense drone it. Because I don't want to hit weapons or shields. And I feel like it can stop those from happening. You like this challenge. Playing Rock Ape for a year. I'm sure you do. Wow, that guy actually already ran out of drone parts. Okay, that was fast. I guess because he had two drone parts already. You know what? I feel like something that needs to be changed is the amount of drone parts and missiles enemies have. That guy had four drone parts, but probably has like 10 to 12 missiles. I think that is like complete opposite of what it should be. How the hell did we not dodge anything there? Come on, game. All right, we need to get a weapon offline here. Oh, crap. Okay, good. We dodged. I'd be fine if he had 10 drone parts, but only 5 missiles. That, to me, was was way more fair. Holy crap, what a good couple of rewards we just got. No freaking way, I just found a second flak one in the store. Haha, <laughs> sell glaive. Uh, yes. Yeah, two flak ones, way better than a glaive. Um, well, you have hacking, so I would say yes. I would say absolutely. Missiles are weird. The enemies have way too many, but the player never has enough. Yeah, I completely agree with that statement. Also, hey, Rand, just tuned in, and the first thing I hear is, come on, game. Well, that's better than the earlier when somebody, the first thing they heard was me saying, F this game. So, <laughs> nah, game's not going well today. Getting kind of wrecked. Asteroid field. Let's get one dodge. If he has a missile, we'll, we'll be in good shape defensively. Flack 118. That's that's my that's my middle name. <laughs> Ran Flack 118 118. That's what they call me. There's a lot of 118s in my name, but you know, my mom really liked that name, that number. It's her her lucky. That was her lucky lotto number. That's a good dodge. Okay, we got the missile offline. Let's go for. I think I need to wait here. First border sent was an NG. Well, since they only have NGs, maybe I could get a crew kill here. Wow. Wow. Zero dodges, single laser, double fire. F this game. Single laser hit, double goddamn fire. Holy crap game. Come on. Don't tell me they don't even... Fuck this game, man. That was the first thing somebody heard when I came in earlier. Look at that bullshit, man. Look at that bullshit. <sighs> Didn't dodge it anyway. Okay, that's a good dodge at least. Fix that. Uh, salt reporting for Shaker, that's right. Just your classic FTL playthrough. I mean, at least my health isn't too low yet, but I just need him to stop small bombing my important systems is what I need to happen, have stop happening. 
There, uh, okay. All right, well. Oh, uh, it's just an annoying ship because he's got goddamn cloaking. Oh, that's great. No more weapons. All right. There's also a fire in there. I might get the crew kill, actually. How am I seeing his crew with no sensors? I don't have a slug. How am I... S what? Does long-range scanners let you see their crew? Okay, somebody somebody answer. Is this a bug? Lifeform scanner. Thank you. I forgot that I had lifeform scanner. <laughs> I thought my game was bugged for a second there, honestly. Thank you. I was... I, I was about to wonder how I hacked the game to be able to see into their ship. I skimmed over it. Well, I got it, and I, I was like, oh, good, double reward, but I I don't actually care about Lifeform Scanner that much, and so forgot that I had it, so. <laughs> this distorted music is scary. Is it distorted because of OBS doing something funky? Oh, great, there's my store. Well, it's NG Sector, so I better have another store and not... Well, this really terrible placed one. What's intended for this ship, Ninja Kiwi? Uh, only one damage lasers. That is the uh, current restriction here. All right, he's got boarding, so I might could get a crew kill here. Um, I would have to kill Heal Bay and then shoot it a bunch more times. Probably won't be able to get it. Just want to get that missile off or that bomb offline. Okay, that's a fire. Wow, that's a level 3 med bay in Sector 3. Holy crap. Thank you for the Might kill this human. Double fire, that's good. Lol, but thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, my friend. I probably kill the ship before I get the crew kill, but we'll still try. Yeah, with an NG repairing. Not looking likely. Small chance, but. Well, that fire, maybe, if he gets low enough. Do you have 15 or less health? Damn. So it would take two shots to kill him, and it takes two shots to kill the ship. So I don't think there's a way to do it unless he takes four more damage from a fire. First lasers are allowed. That's correct, yes. We're basically making this a pew-pew ship. I think this ship, as intended, is shooting lots of lasers. Oh, Freaking hell. Shoot him once, hope for fire. He would run out of the room before the fire would kill him either. Shoot the O2. If it's level 102, that might be my only way of doing it. I might go for that. He could probably repair it before it goes offline, though. So I basically would need one damage in the O2 and it start a fire. I think is my only way of doing it. To be honest, the rewards aren't much for crew kills. Well, that's wrong. Crew kills are way better than non-crew kills as far as rewards go. Yeah. So he's just going to repair it in time. That's fine. This will kill it. This will kill it eventually. For this combat, because it's engine hacking event. Oh, do you actually remember all the events? Okay. Well, I don't remember all the events. And the rewards for every event. So, maybe you're right. Your idea for this ship was only one power weapons allowed? Yeah. And I don't like that idea because that doesn't seem like what this ship was intended for. I feel like this ship was... With a bunch of these types of lasers, I feel like this ship was meant to just have overwhelming shots. Just tons and tons of shots. So, one power, one power weapons wouldn't allow for that. Advanced tip, get flax. Yeah. Give me an advanced tip so we're not covering my tutorial, tutorial video. Panzer tomato, uh, tomate. Um, well, a lot of the advanced tips are going to be things like how to how to micro your crew correctly and stuff like that. Um, so that would be things like if you're fighting these guys, somebody gets low health, you move one guy, move another guy, then put this guy in and they'll swap places. Um, 
I would probably need to do another video for something like that. It'd be things like microing crew, um, removing your shields when an ion's coming it coming at you to avoid having the ion take your shields down and stuff like that. Wow, we're getting a lot of fires from these basic lasers. Holy crap! Basically, every change with charge of the ship is like the flagship power star charge in phase three. Only worse because you can only have four shots in Jikiwi. Um, if you're talking about using basic lasers, anyway. I mean, uh, heavy lasers. Learning to rotate power from O2 to dodge. There you go. Uh, power management management will be a good a good other thing to talk about. That's true. Nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I need fire to do two damage to this guy and four damage to this guy. We're gonna wait a little bit here and just see. Crew kill. I'm gonna hope. I was hoping that one shot would kill this guy, but it didn't. When things go. Oh, you're saying if I got four burst lasers two, burst laser two, it would be like that. That's 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 true. That would make an excellent tutorial. Uh, second tutorial. Yeah, I'll have to start writing down advanced tips to do another tutorial type thing. Yeah, for sure. A little late for O2 kill. Um, the fire spreading might still do it. Here we go. Yeah, if the crew move around. Okay, so one laser shot will kill this guy. The fire will spread back in there. Okay. So I need this guy to do what that guy just did. Because one laser shot will kill this guy. You could compile a list of my thoughts if you want advanced tips. Yeah, that would be great, Pie Boy. Alright, so I, I don't think I can do it now. Okay, he's dead. So basically, I need the fire to spread to this room before shields burn down, and we could maybe do this. We still, this might still happen. You know more about this game compared to your skill in actually playing this game? <laughs> it's pretty funny. So I need this fire to spread here before this burns down. Probably not going to... Oh! Oh! It might actually happen! Nice! Alright. Repair burst. So I think we've got a heal burst and a repair burst, haven't we? I, I sold a heal burst earlier. It was a close call, but we got it. And he dies. That's the optimal. Kill his crew and then he burns down anyway. One, two, three, four, five. Where we go? One, two... Three, four, five. Do I want two stores? I just want one really good store is what I want. You tend to choose the former and lose to play fun versus optimal. Okay. That's a really... Well, it's not really scary. It's scary enough, though, just because Burst Laser 2 is scary by itself. Is Basic Laser known for starting fires? No. Well, I mean... I actually don't know the fire chance on it. I think it's only like 30%, but I feel like because we have so many that maybe we have a higher chance? I don't know. Somebody else can probably say what the actual fire chance is. It's 10%. Um, I don't think I can get a crew kill here. I would need a fire, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm shooting two at a time to only have one hit to hopefully start a fire. But apparently, our crazy fire chances, we've already... Okay, there we go. So that guy will probably run out? No, okay. Yeah. <laughs> trying to get crew kills is hard. Yeah, we're not going to get it here. Just as you said, fire chances, it happened. Well, and not soon enough, though. Not soon enough. All right, if I don't get a weapon upgrade, I'm in real trouble. So if I don't get a weapon upgrade, I need hacking right now. And I only have seven drone parts with a defense drone, too, so. Come on, come on, damn it. I mean, combat drone would be similar, because it's a one damage thing, but... 
Oh man, these stores are terrible. I might hold on to life, uh, life form scanner. Uh, Cause there might actually be a couple blue options for life form scanner, and there's nothing to buy to replace it. I don't have an NG. You know what? I'm gonna get an NG for blue options. Put you on doors. I have all this scrap. And my offense is still my beginning weapons. Explosive replicator, so good. Um, so my only chance of stored at not diving would be here. I might actually need to take a, a, a dive. I might have to dive if there's another store down here. Three blue options for life form scanner. Okay, we'll hold on to it. I feel like fire chances rolled for volleys and not individual shots, and the four volleys are getting a lot more fires than less th the same amount of shots. You think so? That would be a double dive if I went like that. So I need to basically just hope the exit has a store or the next sector has an early store. Dude, explosive replicator OP? Yeah, but not for this run where I'm not allowed to use missiles. Besides, I don't like missiles, so... <laughs> I don't know how the guy that made the weapons tier list ranked them. I mean, he had to decide, for example, to rank shield piercing higher than damage the other way around. You feel like it's a bit subjective. I agree, but the reason I chose that weapon tier list is because that's it is, it's a hard distinction to make. And he actually puts numbers to things like charge time to rarity of the weapons. Um... The reason, the reason I chose that one was because he actually took into account all those variables and put numbers to them. Whether or not you can agree with his subjective choices, it's still, um, he takes into account those variables, and that's why I chose that tier list. I don't actually use a tier list because I just go by what I feel like, but I thought that might be a, a valuable resource for people who are new to the game. All right, engine controlled. I need free stuff. And I also just need stores. So hopefully early store. No early store. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get third shield. Still have a good amount of scrap for a weapon upgrade. Um, I could lose crew if I do this one. Let's just hope we get another Mantis. Okay. All right. Three shields, though. Well, he doesn't have three shields and defense drone mark two because it would be impossible to do damage. Now it's possible. It's just going to take a freaking year. So I bet you we shoot down his drones before we actually get a shot through his shields. <laughs> the good thing is he can't do damage to us. So we can like do training here. I guess everyone agree can agree that repair bomb is the strongest weapon. <laughs> That's right. Pretty sure you don't lose crew against that? Yes, the Mantis can, like, his eyes turn red, and he can one-shot one of your crew. Uh, Clone Bay protects you from that, but Heal Bay does not. You can look that one up, ZDX. I'm, I'm like, 85% sure on that. A year will have a new present for you, kill the ship, maybe. <laughs> hey, what do you know? I killed two, two of his drones before I did a damage to his shields. <laughs> What's up, Deluxe Minimal? How are you doing? Hey! He has three shields and a value point. Are you freaking kidding me? Well, as long as he doesn't run, we'll still eventually kill this guy without taking damage. So, you know what? I might take a break. <laughs> Two years. I'm going to I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break while we wait on here. Because this is kind of like training. And um, if he runs away, it's fine. So, I'll be back. My friends, thanks for hanging out. If there's anybody new to stream, please hit the follow. When I come back, hopefully the ship will be either close to dead or gone. I'll be right back, guys.
Hey, at least he's not running away. That's good. Although I don't know if I've done enough damage to cause him to run away yet. You've never seen Cher lose at FTL. <laughs> this is what happens when a movable object meets an immovable object. <laughs> uh, your chair is so great, you might as well donate to charity. Oh my god. Are we getting puns going? Man. With him having a value point in shields, I wonder if it's better to go for piloting. Although, I think a single NG repairs a single system point faster than these weapons charge. So it may not even matter. Well, it looks like he's out of drone parts, so I've shot his drone parts enough that... <laughs> or shot his drones enough. Hey, hey, let's see. Let's see if he repairs that faster than, well, two NGs 100% will. Okay. Oh, that actually delayed him. Getting him to move to piloting might have been enough to, mm. but he dodged. All right, I think he would have ran by now, so we're gonna do this. Scott has a video of beating the flagship phase one of four flax and auto fire. He gets up and walks away and beats it. Nice. Oh, a fire. Nice. Okay, now we hit shields. Just gonna go back and forth, I guess. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> We're gonna kill him. This is death by a thousand pokes here. So much late there that the old narrator left and we had to hire a new narrator. there. <laughs> it's funny that they um, value piloting being online so highly that they actually send a second NG to go repair it. I don't know if I knew that they did that. That'd be another advanced strat thing to talk about is manipulating a enemy AI, enemy crew AI. How they what they um, prioritize when it comes to repairing and stuff like that. Can we get the last drone shot down before we kill this ship? Oh man, who knows? You just wrote that down nice, by the way. I don't know how I would show that. Because I don't actually know all the priorities. I think it's... Shielding first and piloting? I don't even remember. But maybe piloting's on a higher... There it is! We got it! We shot all his drones down. But the fact that he sent two for piloting makes me think that they may even prioritize piloting over shields. We did it, Reddit. We did it. <laughs> Why don't you get drone parts for killing this guy? <laughs> like, I get, like, only drone parts. 16 drone parts. They're hell-bent on shields, that's for sure. Yeah, well, and that's that's what I mainly take into consideration is them always valuing shields over heal bay weapons, that kind of thing. You know some good strats for early crew kills. Hey, there we go. One more shot. Okay. Usually when we do this, we get the next shot. That's probably just positive reinforcement. Yeah. Wow, he dodged the entire volley there. Five to ten minutes so far. Uh, is that, have we been on this fight this long? Maybe. Almost full shield training. You're right. We only need um, nine more hits to get shield training.
Usually when we do this, we get the next shot completing effective volley. That's right. <laughs> there we go. We did it. Yay. All right. Well, that's the closest you'll ever see me do to training on stream because I think it's so boring. And that was pretty boring. But it was useful because we got scrap for it. Most epic battle of all time. GG cookie time <laughs> for that fight. All right. Less than competent captain. Uh, I make no promises. I really need a store, though. If I don't get a weapon upgrade or hacking, I am basically screwed. Three shields, hacking, and he's got pretty good... I think I'm actually going to avoid this fight. If he hacks my weapons, I never kill this guy. He's going to have too much dodge. When he starts to grab a hot pocket, he finally finished when I got back. Nice. Run another scan. Save the... I already have an NG, so let's get scrap. All right, store. I need I need a burst laser of any kind. I need a chain laser. I need a Vulcan. Vulcan would probably be the best. All right, no weapons, but he has hacking. Um, is there another store before I just go ahead and snap by hacking? There's not. I think I need to buy drone parts if I do this. I got your favorite drone. You're talking about the one I just sold? <laughs> Like, now it's time to sell a lifeform scanner to get hacking upgraded. Is that a store or what? Three Zeltons in a store. And this is in a NG sector, too. Um, let, me get, let me get back a battery. I'm going to sell the life... Uh, do I need to? If... if let me wait till another store. If there's another store, I might do it. I'm going to buy one drone part here. We're probably going to be needing m a lot of these drone parts, actually. And I think this quest might be a thing where we deliver drone parts. You know what? This is one of those investigate, I think, level 2 sensors. Although long-range scanners might give me the blue option as well. Result is rarity 4. Begin to scan for the lost ship. Okay. Can't believe that cheap bastard sent someone to help us. If you help us complete the delivery, we'll share the reward and join your crew. Um, I actually don't need crew, so drop them off at a station. All right. There's a good amount of scrap, though. Now that I have all this crew, they keep wanting to give me more crew. Why can't I hold all this crew? Piloting. I mean, that saves, like... 12 scrap, but I don't want max piloting right now. I just want a weapon upgrade. It's literally all I want. I'd have to dive if there's a store back there, unless I go one, two, three. So I'm going to hope for there being a store there. Yeah, uh, saves so 22. It is 28. Oh, yeah, you're right, 22. <laughs> oh, this game is taunting me. Is that the third flak one this run? Oh my god. So you say you need a weapon, huh? Here's a free flak one. I see so many flak ones today and I can't use them. There's a Vulcan. Okay, here we go, boys. Here we go. The Vulcaning. The Vulcaning. Okay. Um... FTL weighs temptation flag in front of Rand. Hey, I can, I can, I can turn down, ten, turn, turn down that temptation. I could do it. All right. I need power. So we can back up battery, uh, hacking and dodge. We'll get one extra laser here. Yeah, it's, it's value point. It's also basic laser. Um, I don't think I'm going to sell another basic laser until I have something to replace it with. Cause I might Vulcan plus three basic lasers. Wouldn't be terrible. But. Okay. Zoltans. Well, you know, the last Zoltan sector freaking wrecked me. Although Vulcan's pretty good against Zoltan shields. And I do have defense turn for missiles. But I have long range scanners for Uncharted Nebula. There's another There's another advanced tip. If uh, uh, choosing, choosing the right sector to go to. Factors in choosing the correct sector. Write that down. Pie boy. Pie Boy's my secretary. <laughs> and uh, long-range scanners is one thing to increase your 
reason to go to uh, whatever it's called. What's the difference between baggage and luggage? Um, nothing really. Although baggage can have a negative connotation. Um, because baggage can also be like... You know what? I'm actually going to use basic lasers instead of Vulcan here. Baggage can have the connotation of something like... Um, somebody who's got baggage is somebody who has a lot of things in the past that went poorly for them or something like that. Good job. Uh, caution is advised because it's only done by professionals, not by Vulcan in most of your runs. <laughs> hey, there are times when Vulcan's good. This is one of those times because of our challenge. But also... Okay, I don't need shields. Um, usually my prerequisite for getting Vulcan is having good defense, and our defense is actually pretty darn good. All right, I've hit his weapons twice. Let's swap over to Vulcan here. Swap over to the Lulcan. You got it down? Okay, thanks, bye boy. <laughs> you don't like me calling you, you my secretary, huh? Stupid question. What do long-range scanners actually do? Show you what's coming in the next jump nodes? Yes, it shows you if there's ship fights. It shows you if there uh, is an empty jump. Uh, basically, basically, it shows you what's coming up to the next, yeah, what you said, at the next, all the connecting nodes. And it shows if there's hazards, exactly, yeah. That's why... Getting rid of long-range scanners and on a, a long-range scanners on a stealth ship can be a bad idea because if you go into a an asteroid field with no shields, that can be GG. So, what's the root word for luggage? Lug, maybe, which means to carry something around. I don't know. To lug is to drag. Okay. Lug equals bag? No, lug does not equal bag. Bag is a is a noun. Lug is a verb. All right, we got there. Beautiful. All right, no damage. Very, very nice. Uh, Long-range scanners are quite good. They are, in my opinion, probably the best augment you can get early game. Because they just get you so much more scrap. Because you want to take... One of the tips I do mention in my video is get as be efficient with your jumps and get as much scrap from your jumps as you can um, uh, 13 power and long range scanners is the best augment to help with jump efficiency so one two three four five six seven eight okay I think we have enough power for this pays for itself solely because any beacon with a ship has a guaranteed event exactly yep yeah. You can bag something. Okay, that's true. Oh my god, he's got all of his weapons online? Seriously? Alright, we're gonna get, at least get one weapon offline before we swap to the Vulcan here. Back up better my defense drone again. Oh, I have really good anti-boarding, I just realized. I have three mantids. Holy crap. Yeah, I guess bag can also be a verb. You're right. You're right, I'm wrong. Don't need shields, so go back here. As soon as that fires, do this. Back up battery in our dodge. And then do that. It's in the bag. We just need another Vulcan and two Combat 2 drones. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that would be insane. How, how did you... No, I hate this game. Okay. All right, give him a shields. My Vulcan's not firing. Why the hell are you not firing? There we go. Okay, now we're fine. Okay. Oh, God damn it. Is 
actually have you go heal. He might send another crew to board. Fire Vulcan. Yeah, I don't know. I must have control clicked it or something. I don't I don't know why it wasn't on auto fire. There. All right. We're keeping that weapon down. That's good. There we go. Um, no. Let's just bag these lug nuts in our baggage. <laughs> there you go. That can really confuse a person who is intermediate English, as Kenny likes to say. I hate it when humans board. You never get the smell of your ship. The smell off your ship ever again. That's right. Let him win. What? Let my enemy win? No thanks. Okay. So what do I want next? Um, you know what? I might want to get teleporter, honestly, instead of mind control. For some uh, boarding... Teleporter... Uh, I had multiple options there. Um, teleporter... I can't, I can't, I can't talk. Boarding rewards? Oh, jeez. Oh, frickin' hell. Oh, my God. He just locked my NG in there with him. Okay, human, I just did that to help him get through there quicker. Damn it, I keep forgetting to fire, man. I have all this other shit to deal with. Okay, you guys go fix that. Life Force Scanner Blue option. Yeah, that one not as good. Okay, now get out of here before you die. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, that was close. Okay, do I use Defense Drone to stop another guy from getting in here? No, I don't want to use the drone parts. Our, our, our Vulcan spun up. We'll kill him eventually now. Okay. Okay. Kill this freaking drone control, man. Okay. Is there a fire in here? It sounds like there might be a fire in there. Okay. Angie, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Repair. Good. Teleporter seems not intended for this ship. That's true. You make a good point. So probably uh, cloaking or mind control then. I will agree. Cloaking uh, teleporter is not intended for this ship. At least life form scanner is some niche thing to have on Nebula. Yeah, if I didn't have long-range scanners, it would have been good, but I have long-range scanners, so not as not as needed. It is nice to be able to see their crew without having level 2 sensors, but... Wow, so many ion storms, this, uh, this nebula. You are your greatest enemy, so let yourself win. Okay. All right. Open fire. You have a burst laser Mark III. It's normally terrible, but... Not actually that bad in this situation. Um, do I want to hack? No, I want to save my drone parts. Wouldn't you get a size 4 teleporter though? No. No, it would probably go right here or here. I don't remember where it goes because I don't get it on the ship much. Oh, wow, we dodged just enough there. Ah, uh, goddamn ion bomb in my Vulcan weapon system. That's some bullshit right there. All right, F this guy. I'm hacking your weapons. That's BS. Screw you, dude. That's just stupid, man. Yeah, the only ships that have four-man teleporter are the ones that start with it. That's correct. It's below the med bay. It's here. Okay. 
That's where I thought it would be. Grade A BS right there. Right, give me some good dodges, please. That's some good dodges, though. Cloaking between sensors. That hack. Right here. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. This ion bomb is kicking my ass. All right, well, at least hopefully our hacking... It's only level one hacking, so... This could be really bad. Come on, shields, come up. It's not going to be in time, is it? Mm. They didn't recharge in time. Okay, that was still some pretty good dodges, though. You know, I think we need dodge more than shields at the moment because we want to try to dodge these freaking things here. Here we go. No more weapons for you. Come on, doge it. There we go. All right, we took two damage. That could have been worse. Oh, oh, wait. Crew kill. Okay. Damn. I could have done that better. If I had let them... If I had not hit shields, they would have stayed to try to fix that. Okay, I'm going to let them repair shields because I might be able to get a crew kill here. Yeah. Open the door. Close the door. Kill O2. Actually, I don't think I need to. It burned anyway. Okay. So he's now going to try to get to the O2, I believe. I'll need to kill the heal bay, too. The good thing is, though, I think we'll be fine, because I think he's going to try to get to O2, and he'll die while trying to do it. Okay, so this is going to take a little bit of time here. We're really going to wait this out. So we can heal while we wait. I'm obsessed with shooting O2 and trying to kill crew at every opportunity with every ship. Oh, there's a fire in an engine <laughs> out of this. Must have spread from here to here. Roasted mantid is Rand's favorite delicacy. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the crew kill. Uh, I think if I keep the heal bay down long enough we can should be out of o2 already if only i had if only i could use sensors in this sec in this uh nebula nice all right we should have it beautiful 26 scrap that's really all for a crew kill damn all right let's get um, let me get one power. I really want to get a weapon upgrade or my final system. If I get cloaking, we would be super uh, good defensively. Oh my god, look at those weapons. Jesus. Alright, let's fight him. Um... Okay, I'm going to try something here. I'm going to hack the weapons, and I'm going to try to get my first shot off in the weapons. I don't know if this is the best plan. Cave-dwelling pebble man! See, I paint my ship with you! Or something like that. Are you fucking kidding me, game? 50% dodge when he's got six goddamn power and weapons online right now. Frickin' six right here. He has dodged fucking half of my shots, both. What the hell? What is this fucking 50% dodge game? I just... Uh, God damn it. Okay, all right. It's not terrible. He didn't hit my weapons twice. He would have had to hit my weapons twice for us to really be in bad shape.
Thank you for the there we go. Nagador, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Come on. Come on with these goddamn dodges. Jesus, this guy's just been dodging like crazy. Rock plating ram the bastards. Yeah. Still need a salt emote, but I'm out of ideas. I'll, I, I'll probably come up with a salt one eventually. Nope, oh, bad deal. But if anybody has an idea for salt emotes, let us know. Still waiting for the other ones to be approved. It takes like weeks apparently to approve an emote. It's crazy how long it takes them to do that. I feel like they have one person at Twitch who's like just going through thousand emotes one at a time saying yes, yes, yes. It's like seriously, hire another person. You've already posted my Rand Salt Shakers, yeah. We have we have a couple ideas. Or a couple suggested suggested emotes. None of them have just really done it for me yet. All right, there's cloaking. No weapons. Scrap recovery arm. Sector 5. Probably not worth. Man, we are not... We have found one weapon so far. Vulcan, and that's it. Thankfully, we found the best weapon. All right, let's get rid of lifeform scanner. And we're going to get cloaking here. And we're going to be super tanky. Defense drone plus cloaking is so good. You're already happy and surprised enough that you used... Oh, man. The Pepe Baker. I love that emote. Love that one. Um, let's see here. Uh, eight scrap. How many jumps do we have? We have six at least. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we could do that. Pretty good route there. Backup battery, mind control, and cloaking. So many ion storms. I hope this is one where I can get a free thing from it. Okay, that's double. The two best ion weapons. Okay. Well, um... I think I have to hack his weapons, honestly. I'll be able to cloak to, like, recover shields, but... Or maybe cloak when this thing fires. There we go. That's a good cloak right there. But we get to do the strat of alternating hacking and cloaking here that I recommend for the boss fight missiles. There's another advanced strat. Cloaking plus, mine could, uh, cloaking plus hacking on the missiles on the boss fight. Cloak it. No hacking on shields? Nah. We have... Vulcan basically is our hacking on shields right now. Oh, you're talking about on boss fight. Well, it's a... PK-22A, I normally do recommend cloaking or hacking shields. However, if you have the right build, cloaking plus hacking on missiles can actually guarantee you no damage in phase one of the boss fight if you have good enough other defense, basically. Well, not guaranteed. Nothing's guaranteed, but it's a valid strat. If you have, say, I don't know, artillery flak to take care of shields, and you just, you're just you really afraid of taking too much damage from missiles. Okay. I really just want to get power and weapon upgrades now. You can also kill the missiles. Uh, that is not as good a strat. Yes! Because on hard mode, they just repair it too fast. If you're a filthy casual like me who doesn't play on hard. Well, there you go. Um, you wrote that down? Okay, cool, pie boy. Um, here I think I do hack. Actually, I might want to hack piloting here. Do I want to hack at all? His weapons are not too scary. If we cloak the bomb, we might be fine here. Just need to make sure we... Back up battery or dodge when this is about to fire. Weapon attack is dumb. Um, 
I would usually agree with that on the boss fight, but if the the main reason you do that is I think actually a boarding strat. Because if you board in the missile room, good dodge, board in the missile room and hack the missile room, that's one of the few ways on hard mode you can actually, actually reliably get their missiles down. And if you do that and you have cloaking, you can actually never take a missile on phase one of the boss fight. That's that's kind of the strat there. That's probably the full described strat there. Six years ago when I played FT on the beginning, I had the biggest surprise Pikachu face when the AI took over after a crew kill. Yeah. Okay, nice double reward. Okay. All right, we're finally getting some scrap here. It's looking much better. Let's get... Do um, you want to get one more laser online? Maybe I might at the end of this sector. What are you, guys, are you talking about minutes from last week's FTL streams? <laughs> the notes are salt everywhere. <laughs> nice, I like it. All right, attack the ship. Even though you have pretty good weapons, again we are going to cloak the either the bomb or the laser. We'll have to see. <laughs> you you take very detailed notes. It's, it's well done, sir. Yeah, that's good dodges. Here's our here's our cloak right here. Cloak the ion and the ion bomb. Perfect. All right, let's go for weapons here. I want to get that ion bomb offline so it doesn't. Ion bombing your weapons when you have a Vulcan really sucks. Oh, that was zero dodges. Okay, game. I mean, a little bit more than zero. Nice. Rise, he was about to fire. Perfect. Uh, no surrender. I forgot to move my people back in place. I need to heal some dudes. Uh, okay, it's my stunned guy. Okay, alrighty. My top five list of the worst things to read in FTL. ASB, out of fuel, jump imminent, fleet pursuit, doubled envoy. <laughs> I can, I can... I can agree with that most of that list. Um, you know what? We could dive here. We have cloaking, and we get an extra ship fight out of it. Cloaking is kind of the, and, and it's also in a nebula. So you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do that. We are gonna we are gonna dive, my friends. There are phases of <laughs> the boss fight. Yeah. And he's even... Okay, this guy's trying to run. Okay. Um, oh, God. If he hacks, my weapons were screwed. But I need to use hacking so he doesn't get out. Okay, that's fine. Just need to, I just need to hack his, his piloting a bunch of times here so that we hopefully get enough. Get enough time to spin up our Vulcan. Well, the good thing is if he gets out, it's not a big deal because if he gets out, Fleet Pursuit is doubled and we're already, we're already diving still. Don't bomb my weapons. Okay, good. All right, I think we got it. Got it. Nice. Beautiful. Waste of a drone to use the defense drone, you think? Yeah, it might have been. There's a fire in here. Yeah. Make sure it does not spread to O2 here. Oh, it did spread.
Well, I don't think it would have been a waste of a drone part if we had prevented a weapons hack, but I didn't want to use the drone part, so I didn't I didn't counter the hack. I had a good kick both at the realizing crew kill doesn't work and the first time you kill the first phase and it's still going. You got destroyed phase two immediately. I would say that's probably most people's experience in FTL is going, what, there's a phase two? I don't think I had that because I had watched FTL before I played it, but still. Uh... Fires VAI actually do help, by the way. Um, I think there's a small chance it can burn down in time. I don't know that it's a consistent thing to rely on, though. Are you saying, though, it stops them from repairing? One second, I have a uh, text. I think it's about my Christmas caroling stuff. Let me see here. One second, guys. Okay, 14th, September or December 14th, or November or December. One second, let me respond to a text. One second, guys. Sorry about this. Okay, it would be at five. Okay. Got to go. Have fun and good luck. All right, Panzer Tomate. Have a good one, man. All right. Um, so we're diving. Do I want to get one more power in engines? Nah. With cloaking and hacking, we should be fine. Ran beyond stream trying to do calendar math. <laughs> yeah. All right. Double missiles. Um, hmm. Actually, this is a little scary. Double missiles under burst laser three. This is like the only... Weapon system that is actually a little scary, I feel like. Well, actually, multiple flax would probably be scarier. I should be able to just cloak. These are going to fire at the same time, right? Yeah. All right, let's cloak that. I love how the viewer count was increased while he was texting. <laughs> that and chair. You know, those are the two best things I can do. All right, I guess we will do this. Please don't shoot down my defense drone. Defense drone just stopped two damage. Perfect. I might finish this fight, too. If it looks like I won't take more damage. Defense drone doing work. We can probably finish this fight now. For the fuel. Cloak that. Beautiful. We'll finish this for the fuel and for the score farming. Diving for the score farm. Actually, I don't need shields, so we'll do this. Don't text and stream, kids. <laughs> hey, it's not like driving. It's not that dangerous. Oh, my God. Get that crap offline. Jeez. Do it for the score. That's right. We're doing it for the score. Sad when you think that everyone wants to see a chair instead of you playing. <laughs> I don't think that. It's just, you know, it's a joke. It's it's a joke. Like that person who said, what was it that I was thinking about earlier? When I when I move my face off screen to uh, blow my nose, somebody's like, there goes Rand, snorting his cocaine again. It's like, no, that's not. <laughs> He's like, I know, it's a joke. It's like, it's, no, it's not funny. It's not funny. Uh, just stay in Sector 6 jumping around Rebel Control Systems until your score gets so high it crashes the game. That's the hidden ending to FTL. Well, that is the way that I think whoever got the highest score ever did it, was just farming dives over and over. Wow, double fire beam, huh? Okay. It's not that scary, but that could be scary if that ever happens. Cocaine's, cocaine's a hell of a drug, Rick James. Thanks, Shogi. <laughs> Okay. 
Just joined. What are you saying is intended for Kestrel B? Only allowing one damage laser type weapons. So we're making it a true pew pew ship. Okay, we're gonna cloak that. There we go. Drone recovery on with hull repair drone. Oh yeah, yeah. So you can just repair indefinitely, for sure. Basically infinite health. Double fire beam, I want that in my own runs. Well, then this is probably what's going to happen to you. You run into a guy with a single Vulcan and you lose. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend the double fire beams, by the way. Not a recommended build. Okay. Get to the flagship and it surrenders because you've annihilated most of the rebel fleet. That would be pretty funny. Oh my god, Tommy Ten Eyes with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the randoms and I appreciate that, my friend. Okay. The, the, the love, the sub love has just been real lately. My god. What about double fire beam and double fire drone? Yeah, that's that's worse. <laughs> it's not better, it's worse. All right, so we just um, cloaked the flak, I guess. Welcome to the salt mines. Does that go with the ion? There it is. There we go. That's what you call a perfectly timed cloak, my friends. Um, I only have seven drone parts. I'm gonna, I might take some damage from this fight. Wow. Wow, we actually dodged. He, his flak perfectly timed with his combat drone going back and forth, and we actually dodged all those shots. That's kind of amazing. All right, let's go for weapons here. I'll get this flak offline. Now right, we should be safe now. Oh, he's running. Two flak ones and two fire beams. There you go. If you're gonna if you're gonna do a fire beam run, that's the build you want to go. Of course, you might kill the ship before the fires do with all those flax, accidentally. Still. Thanks for the YouTube instructional rant. Nice. I'm glad you liked it, Tommy Ten Eyes. I was I was pretty I was hoping it would get a good response, and uh, when I checked the views this morning, it was already like seven or eight hundred. So that's that's good. I I don't know if there's a lot of good. FTL beginner guide videos out there or if there are any so I thought with all the people who have watching been watching our FTL videos and new folks joining I thought it might be a good idea so I'm glad I'm glad it's getting some traction I want to see the look on that weapon officer's face <laughs> far mur murders absolutely everyone uh, is that a clip uh, of him like fire beaming them do I know Tyler one's machine gun meme I don't think so no my first experience with flagship was the construction site in Sector 5 before making Sector 8 once. This game is cruel. Oh, that's one of my favorite events, actually. All right, so we got... So, I could get a fully trained NG, or I just get a bunch of scrap and a free drone part. Let's do that. Oh, it's no, it's the drone reactor booster. So, something to sell. That's very nice. Sun... All right, we'll go to a sun, I guess. I'm going to post my beginner's FTL guide soon. Headlights, don't play and you'll always be a winner. <laughs> Rude, man. Hey. Hey, you're not supposed to have a Vulcan. Um, I might need to hack this guy's Vulcan. Although I do have cloak, uh, cloak here. Volume warning. Uh, I'll click on it. I don't know if I'll watch it right now, Kenny. Oh, God. I don't even know if I want to click on this, man. FTL beginner's tip, use a use a keyboard you don't like because you might end up smashing it. Okay, I'm going to cloak. Nope, I'm not. I'm going to cloak. That'll buy us a little time, so our Vulcan should spin up just slightly faster than his. And hopefully the Vulcan is the first thing that'll go offline. Nope, I can't hack it anyway. All right. There we go. Nice. Perfect. Oh, it's the second fire there. 
I'm at 1141 views on that already? <laughs> nice, man. I swear my... My, uh, my YouTube videos have just been getting so many views lately. It's amazing. Thank you all so much for the report, uh, support. I just... It's kind of blowing my mind, all the YouTube support lately. You guys, you guys are bros. You guys are awesome. Thanks for watching my stuff and keeping me company and making me happy. I value my professions too, possessions too much. I could never take it out on things that can break. I don't... I've raged before. I... I might have, as a younger kid, thrown, like, a Nintendo controller or something. However, I feel like Nintendo controllers are tankier than, like, Xbox controllers and stuff. I got I got full crew. I guess I could get the NG and invent a human, but I'd rather just get scrap right now. So, Also, we could have gotten a whole repair drone, which would have been nice. So I doubt I'll ever do, like, physical damage. I will just rage so hard and yell at people that I'll, I'll just ruin relationships. You know, that's, that's way... Way better than, you know, breaking stuff. Just ruin my relationship with other people. That's fine. I'll just irreparably damage relationships with people from my raging all the time. It's way healthier than destroying stuff, right, guys? Any extra controllers are nearly unkillable? That's right. Nice. Not clicking on my links, but downloading malware from a random person. Well... It's a volume thing, Kenny. It's not that you're untrustworthy. I don't want my ears to get blown out. I, I will click on it in a bit. It's how you ruin your last relationship. Okay. All right, there's a good cloaking timing. I noticed that the video and audio is a bit asynchronous. A release in the stream doesn't help. How? That's, yeah, that's, it's an OBS problem on my end, and I don't know how to fix it. And usually it's, it's the game. So it's a desync between the game going to my streaming computer. So it's nothing on your end. You can't fix it. I can't fix it because OBS changes during my stream. So even in that video that I posted on YouTube, it does that. Okay, I'm going to turn my... I'm going to like click on this and immediately pause it if I can. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to turn this way down, Kenny. Just... Just because it's you, let's see what this is. Yeah, okay, great. I'm sure I'm glad I clicked on that, Kenny. <laughs> uh, to totally worth it. Totally worth r worth rip my ears. Oh my god. Um... Uh, We'll drop Xbox controllers, PlayStation, NES controllers, and see who wins. We're going to do a Mythbusters. Let's do a Mythbusters episode. The submitted myth is that NES controllers are indestructible. Kenny is 12. That's true. Kenny is 12. Should not be surprised. Um, I need stores. One, two, three, four, five. All right. We're going to skip one ship fight to hope we find a store over here. At least one. It's good for... At least you said volume warning. That's true. I am very glad you told me that. Uh, <laughs> but still, you could have just not posted that video. <laughs> that was that was a reference to Vulcan sounds? Because it's a machine gun, I guess? Um, wow, these stores have been crap lately. But we have a ton of stuff to sell. I guess I could have used the defense drone, but... Um, I'm going to get Clone Bay because, you know, what if we do run into giant alien spiders? And it's always nice to have that, you know, guarantee. Let's buy the drone parts because we have defense drone and hacking. I think it's about time we upgrade our hacking. Um, or I just get my last basic laser online. Now, let's get level 2 hacking. Uh, let's get a power... And I guess I just get our weapon here. Our build is pretty good. We have still one more sector. Abandoned 7 hype. Oh my god. I God, I hope not. What happens if an NES controller and a Nokia clash at high speed? Does the universe explode? <laughs> Alright, so there's the NG Homeworld quest. Is, is that what that is? Yeah. Imagine an atomic bomb going off, then times by a million, huh? Holy viewers, holy... Hello, Rand. What's up, Just Ben? 
Yeah, the viewers for FTL streams have been crazy lately. It's all the folks joining us from the YouTube. It's awesome. How y'all doing? It's good to see y'all, my friends, y'all. Y'all, y'all. I'll let a couple feel here. Universes are created if those two things collide. <laughs> extra dimensional dimension extra dimensional extra dimensional time and space spawns a new universe. What is it? Dogs and dogs and cats become friends. The whole universe is is goes crazy. What is that? What is that Ghostbusters quote that I totally misquoted there that I can't remember how it goes? Also, hello from YouTube. Hello, Dilidian. Welcome from YouTube. I don't know what's going to be FTL. I just popped in the stream to see if it was on at all. Well, nice, Micronix. I'm glad you came at the right time. I mean, it's a good chance because I play FTL half the time I stream, basically. Good dodges there. Dogs and cats living in the same house. Something like that. I'm sure Shogi knows that quote. Or can quote it, quote it better than I can. Yeah, don't make me do math on stream or I'll start yelling at my viewers again. <laughs> and then somebody calls me an ass and I time them out and they probably will never come back to my stream again. But you know, that's fine. Dilidian, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the live stream. Rebel or Mantis? Sector 7. Uh, Rebel's probably going to be a bunch of auto scouts. I can deal with borders pretty well. We'll go Mantis. Although, watch me get like five Mantis borders a bunch of times and I say I can handle it well. Or just give the calculation here and Zedix will do the math. There you go. Holy crap. The first ship I fight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's an eight or nine power weapon system. Holy crap. Okay. Um, well, that's scary as hell. All right. We're going to hack his piloting here. I'm going to cloak the first bomb, I think, is what we're going to do. Because if it's an ion bomb, we're, we get screwed. Oh, that's great. That's really good. Double fire and shields. Okay. That timing is actually very good as well. Right as the flak was about to hit us. The dead rising from the grave. Human sacrifices. Dogs cats living together. Mass hysteria. I knew. I knew Shogi would do it. I knew it. All right. I'm waiting to hack until the Vulcan's about to be spun up here. There we go. And now we need to kill his piloting. There we go. I need his weapons next because his Vulcan is also spun up. It's Vulcan v Vulcan. Too bad you followed the wrong ship. Well, then you're dead. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this quest, actually, because the other quest is so far away and I might not have time. But I might beeline it there. We'll see, we'll see what our jumps look like. What the heck did I walk into? What's up, FF10? I mean, Faith. Did you walk into? Uh, mass hysteria. Dogs and cats and stuff. It's not a very efficient jump. One, two, three, four, five. So that means I'll have five more jumps for the quest to show up, and I would get pretty good reward plus titanium system casing, I believe. I might go for it. We'll see. Basically, if I just get good defense, we have enough to beat the boss right now, I think. Veil 4 is the best. Is that a... Is that a... I believe that is a Final Fantasy reference, I guess. Oh, you freaking mantids. Juked me. They freaking juked me, man. Okay, we're gonna use them to soften them up. Look at all that softening they did. They, like, did 20 damage. Okay. Here comes the missile. Cloak it. Holy crap, that timing was close. I'm probably going to have to use defense drone anyway. This sector is bad, but not as not as worse as what you had at one point. Yeah, we've had... There, yeah, there's get lots of bad sector layouts. Okay. Go ahead and use a defense drone. Let's do it. Oh, okay. Thank God it wasn't aimed at piling, or that would have done damage to us. Time to vent. Hopefully I don't kill that before the O2. Beautiful. Oh! <laughs> it's the... 
It's the free weapon mantis escape quest too. Oh man, do I let him go? All right, I'm gonna let him go. Stop firing, let him go. We're gonna still have to deal with these friggin' mantis borders though. It's fine. Oh, they actually left. Okay. <laughs> okay. After them. Can I do this quest? I don't know if I'll be able to do both quests, honestly. I'll try. I'll try. Uh, 10 jumps for, to exit from start. Baby rage. Is that not about average? I feel like that might actually be about average. I've never actually counted the number of jumps for... I mean, the exit's not that bad a location. I mean, there would be better, but it's not that bad. I've definitely seen worse than that. I once had a run with NGA where I ended up having all crew members be NGs just because it looks cool. But level one doors is level one mid bay and four mantis event ended your run. I can believe that. It's way off the average. Well, you saw 10 jumps after I'd already done one or two jumps, I think. So I think it's actually 11 jumps. If we're being honest here. All right, more mantid borders. Um, uh, from top left, I had to go to bottom left, center, center, right? Okay. It's not math, but it's still making my head explode. So I'm not going to read all that right now. Okay, nice. Okay. Um, okay, we don't need to cloak. There we go. Saving the cloak for the ion bomb. I was I was pretty sure that was going to be an ion bomb from how long it was taking to charge. Oh my god, the borders, man. The borders. It's almost like I chose a mantis sector. Jesus. You got the pick if links are allowed. Uh, you'll need permission, uh, Dex. So, Pie Boy or Shogi, you'll need to. Oh, all those Pie Boys headed out. All right, we'll see you later, man. Good luck. May the doors be with you. You're going to play some Rocket League. Okay. Good luck on your Rocket League, sir. Oh, Pie Boy's got the permit. Thank you, sir. Let's go ahead and vent a couple guys since we're probably going to just keep getting boarded. Take down Clone, you might be able to crew kill. Yeah, I was thinking about it, but I didn't want to mess with it. We have Vulcan. Getting crew kills with Vulcan is not the most efficient way of... Well, it'll, it can it can be annoying and take a while. Um, so what's wrong with that sector? I see the picture. You had to go down left. Did that force you into a dive? Is that what you were saying? All right, there we go. Okay. All right, so I do want to get upgrades here. Um, max hacking will finish our offense. Let's get doors since we're getting boarded so much. And then we're going to look towards dodge and then fourth shield is what we're going to look for. I got doors. I just got them. Yeah, I got them. Before you could man doors and sensors to increase your level in the past, buying level two doors is pretty essential to not die. Surprise for man man's boarding. Was there a time where you couldn't man doors? Was that a thing pre... Um, Pre-advanced edition? Alright, we got f uh, fourth shield, and we're actually looking really good for defense. Center is apparently a marketplace that has three stores. Okay, <laughs> that's funny. Not you again! It's me again. Please give me a burst laser too. You know, second Vulcan is probably the best thing we could get here. Alright, go soften them up again. And by soften them up, I mean almost die. AE added manning doors and sensors. Interesting. I don't I don't remember that. I don't I don't even remember if I played pre-advanced edition, honestly. So I don't remember a lot of that stuff. Okay, let's cloak that again. Okay. 
I'm purposefully not using drone parts uh, on my hacking, so I can try to conserve. Hey, what's up, Alteriga? How are you doing, my friend? Okay, let's let's do some venting. Although I'm going to send you in there just to make sure you don't get it down before. There we go. Now hit weapons. Need that charge iron to come offline, or at least get to the point where we can dodge. Okay, we're good. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> he did! He gave me exactly what I asked for! I was going to say either this or a Vulcan would be the best we could get. Holy crap, that's so freaking good. There also wasn't hard mode yet. I was surprised when I came back playing on hard. It was suspicious that it was harder than I remembered. Oh my god. You, sir, know how to... You know how to deal. You know how to bargain, man. Ask and ye shall receive. Okay, we got ourselves a pew-pew ship going on here, boys. The pew pewing is a happening. There we go. Vulcan burst laser two. All we need is one more burst laser two or a chain laser, and we are sitting pretty on our eight power weapon system. Because I still do have two basic lasers, not the best, but. Can I be the NG? Sure, Faith. Absolutely. Uh, was somebody already the NG? You know what? I think I just changed <laughs> somebody else from being the NG. Sorry, whoever that was, I forgot. Now we can't get the two Vulcan run. It's still possible. It's still possible. Level one clone bay is giving me anxiety. Yeah. 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 I understand. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. Totally, totally. At some point, we'll do something about that. Am I seeing you with sub subset games? I would report, like to report a hacker. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go ahead and defense drone this so I can cloak Ion Bomb on my weapons. Although Ion Bomb on, on my weapons wouldn't actually get the Vulcan offline anymore. That's pretty good. I'll cloak that. Can you say overwhelming firepower? I can. I can. The flackening. Double Vulcan. But this is pretty overwhelming, too. It's pretty good. All right, defense drone. Don't fail. Thank you. Eight power weapon systems is making me happy. Yes. Okay. All right. Can maybe get a crew kill here. See how, greed, how greedy you want to be for it. Um... So two lasers will kill you. Okay. One more. Okay, we did one extra shot. Okay. Just gotta be careful with how greedy we are. We might actually take damage here, but as soon as he leaves, if I do... Nice. Ah, crap. Okay, well, we can cloak this. There we go. Got it. Beautiful. Hull repair. Nice. Um, Four times burst laser two, better than four times flak, and better than two times Vulcans. I disagree. Four times flax is my favorite weapon system. The flackening is better, is greater than all. Greater than, greater than, whichever. Greater than all. Flackening, greater than all. All right, do I save up for force shield or do I go for like the level two of these things? I feel like getting force shield's probably better. Flack is so inaccurate. Just Ben, have you ever fought the boss fight? You don't have to be accurate for the boss fight. You just gotta hit his shields a bunch of times and all of his crew will die. It's faster. That all the weapon, all of the uh, shots hit at the same time, so it's more effective against uh, shields. Just, just, I love flax. Flacky, flacky, flack. I love flax. Okay. You're on 2,500 plus hours. Oh, I believe that you have a reason that you love them so much. I'm just telling you why I love them. 
what I what my choice. Oh, I guess you're saying that because I asked have you ever played the boss fight. <laughs> Still. Still, Flax are just too good, man. Okay, he's trying to run. I might have to hack his piling. Damn. So, so games, it's me again, but we have a person who says something negative about Flax. <laughs> my people back in place here okay that's some good dodges no don't don't you leave don't you leave okay oh crap he might he might get out actually um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hack this because if it does come back online I can hack it immediately Kill, crew kills are so much easier with the uh, burst two. Okay. Did it actually give me the quest marker? It did. Okay. All right. We actually do get the quest. All right. Yeah, I guess so. But if I'm, I don't, I don't concern myself with crew kills if I have a flackening. <laughs> you know? It's like I have enough. If I have a flackening, I have enough. So. All right. It'd be nice if this is a store so I can sell my basic laser and maybe get another Vulcan or burst laser too. We got beat up in that fight? Yeah. Um, I really do want to get level 2 clone bay because we just keep getting boarded on. Just to get more heal. I guess I'll... I don't want to spend the scrap on that because I'm, I'm worried I won't get force shield, but I think that's worth doing. Who cares about crew kill if we have so many projectiles? Exactly, you know? But I understand why Burst Laser 2 is a favorite for many people. I just love my, love my flax. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, didn't hit my weapons. Did hit my shields, but we got cloaking, so we should be fine. Very nice. Beautiful. To have one shield for the mini beam. Perfect. No weapons. More score. True. I don't. I don't really care about farming score if I have a flackening. <laughs> you know, when I have a flackening, I don't really care about anything else. Oh, he actually did one damage to me, damn. But I've said it before and I'll say it again. I will never, I don't think I'll ever prefer another weapon over a flak. I just, I just love how fast flaks fire and how effective they are at taking out shields and just doing speedy damage. Imagine when you have a flak and you go full rampage mode. Pretty much, yeah. All right. All right. If you could stop doing, like, level 4 ion damage with this pulsar, that would be great. That would be great. All right. Well, might be an empty jump. We'll go ahead and go here. Hello, Mr. Spectre. How are you doing, man? Shooter on deck. I have clone base, so if I do lose crew, I Thank you for I do this. I could take hull damage here with this. Thank you for the host, Spectre. Appreciate that. Another Mantis, I could replace one of my humans. This we can get scrap for. I'm going to do this because clone bear protects us. Okay. Well, apparently we take five hull damage from that event. Not, that was not what I was expecting. Okay. Six if we don't get these fires out in time. Okay, well, I thought... <sighs> I didn't think you could take whole damage from taking that option, but 63 scraps, probably worth six damage, probably. Probably, probably. All right, I'll get this extra jump to get... Uh, to get. We'll take a dive for this extra jump here. Six free hull damage, yay! <laughs> no, I paid 63 scrap. Or got paid 63 scrap. One of those two. Somebody was paid for that. Hey, what a great place for you to board, my friends. Uh, 
Um, wow, they left quick. Okay. Do these fire at the same time? Close enough. We'll cloak this. I'm gonna try to not use a drone part. And go for his weapons. If I can, if I can get this missile offline before second volley. Okay, could you maybe stop boarding me? Holy crap! So many boarders in this mantis sector. I'm so so surprised by this all the time. I was wondering if we can get if we can small bomb burning systems to avoid hull damage. Small bomb. God. And I'm just gonna have to clone bay here, I think. Yeah, I only have thirty percent dodge right now. Uh okay, we got that weapon offline though, so damn shots did come through. Okay. All right, cloaking's up for the missile shot, though, so we are not safe because of our dodge. Okay, just do this. We're actually going to double. We're going to double down on our missile defense here. If I lose crew, I'm going to be sad. I'll be sad because bad. Always so lucky getting piles of free stuff. That's right, that's me. Just call me Lucky Rand. Except for those, you know, first two runs of the day where I got really shitty RNG and had and got wrecked. Uh, yeah, lasers only. Basically, only one damage lasers are, is our as intended. So, any type of burst, burst laser, uh, chain laser, or charge laser. All the one damage lasers we're, we're allowing. Okay. All right, let's let's get some people refreshed here. My God. What the crew on the Mantis bomber were thinking. All right, this ship looks looks strong. We need a good strategy. Now I get it. Let's board right in the airlock. <laughs> How evil is my gaming chair? Does it cut me? No, chair is a bro. Ch chair would never cut me. Black Archon, they give the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome. The no girth laser challenge. <laughs> <laughs> no girth. Yes, sure, Cthulhu. The girthless laser challenge. <laughs> no girth. Hey, you know, my girlfriend told me that that doesn't matter. And then she broke up with me. You get lucky in a lot of absolute numbers if you play a lot, but overall FTL is just always going to cuck you. Thank you, there you go. Mm, Finn, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Pro strats, guys. Pro strats. Board in the airlock. I think the reason that the Federation fleet lets you fight the flagship one-on-one -on -one is that you're the only person in the galaxy that understands basic strategy. <laughs> yeah. Well, judging by our interactions with every other ship in this game, I would agree with that statement. All right. I have the non-mantids do the tank in here. If anything, Chair is trying to outmaneuver Rand as streamer. That sounds right. He's trying to, he's trying to show who the better streamer is. Okay, stun bomb is fine. More than cloak the ion bomb that this is though. As far as I can tell, the chair has a 100% win rate. <laughs> chair has never lost a game of FTL. You know who else hasn't ever lost a game of FTL? Shogi. But if you don't play, can you really call yourself a winner? All right. Titanium system casing. We got the free hull repair anyway. We're good. Well, Rand is literally the best player FTL in his chair. Literally the best FTL player in his chair. That's right. Rand, you notice that the Mantis joke is also a pun, and I like it. Did I? Damn it. Did I actually like a pun? It was, a, it was an accent, I promise. Totally didn't mean to like it. Alright, four shields, five dodge, cloaking defense drone. This is similar to my uh, final build for the uh, instructional beginner's guide video. 
So we're looking good here. Um, and we'll go ahead and hack and kill this guy off, I guess. Just for the, the lulls and the score. Six drone parts is a little low, though. But I have cloaking for the ASB. Of course, he's going to get multiple ASBs off for sure. We don't cloak until, or we don't hack until the Vulcan's spun up. Okay. That was a pretty fast fire. Okay, one more. Stop firing so that we... S I hit C! What? Oh. I don't know why my cloaking didn't go off. I 100% hit... I must have just put the power in cloaking and never actually freaking cloaked there. What a misplay right there. God damn it. Well, we got the free repair coming in. And he has no shield, so we'll kick his ass. But still, that's that was a misplay. That was absolutely a misplay right there. Shouldn't have taken that damage. Hopefully we'll just dodge the next shot. Probably not. Oh, we did. Okay, good. We're fine. Hashtag never punished. Hashtag never punished. Why is there a Vulcan in your beginner's guide video? <laughs> uh, <laughs> did I hit? Well, I hit cloak. I didn't hit cloak when I meant to hit it. I powered it and then I didn't cloak it when I it was meant to. I, and then I cloaked after it was already after it was already guaranteed to hit. So yes, yes, I did hit it late. When we hear the ASB sound, you can't cloak. It. I know. I you noticed if you noticed, I cloaked at the right time before the next shot. I just didn't actually hit the cloak button. So I did it right, except I just didn't actually hit the goddamn cloak button. So I know how to do that. I'm not a dumbass. Thanks for the, thanks for this, thanks for pointing out my mistakes. That's that's what I can always count on chat for hey Rand you're stupid did you notice hey hey in case you missed it you're dumb just just want to let you know <laughs> uh, okay all right we got the burst laser too okay okay all right we got it we freaking got it Vulcan double burst laser too access with the twitch prime sub thank you my friend appreciate that welcome to the randoms Proposing loneliness only challenge if you're looking for one. Lanius only? I don't know about that. It's a hell of a weapon system. Am I streaming? I'm talking to you, so yes. <laughs> are you are you testing if this is live? Totally pre-recorded. Uh, I think I need to get drone parts here. Do I get drone recovery arm? With my drone parts being low, I think this is actually worth. i buy all three drone parts. Um, long range scanners... Probably worth getting the one repair station. I just hope I don't have to dive. Okay. Anything else I need to do here? I'm thinking of selling long-range scanners. It's going to be my last last chance to do it. We're not going to have a lot of options about where we go. So let's go ahead and just do it. Drone recovery arm will probably be worth since we're using hacking and defense drone. Heal bomb. That's what I need, a heal bomb. Lanius only challenge is crazy, Tuzik, because you have to you're not guaranteed to get abandoned sector. So then you're stuck with only what, a maximum of two Lanius crew. So that is probably not a challenge I'm doing. Okay, he's got He's got the overshield drone, so I'm gonna get my hacking drone in there. I can't see where this guy's gonna fire. Oh, god damn it. My my game is not strong today, guys. It's not strong. I mistimed the other thing, and I just mistimed that shit. Right, I can't be wasting... I can't be goddamn wasting drones like that. All right, I'm just not gonna... I'm just not gonna hack this guy. Does the ship need to be hacked? No, not really. I just I saw I saw the overshield charger or shield overcharger and thought let's do it. Uh, Lincoln, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Let's actually see if I can get the missile offline. 
so I don't have to use a drone part for that. Great. I've had Vulcan and double chain laser. Nice. I bet that's pretty insane. I've had double Vulcan, which is probably the ultimate Vulcaning. Definitely the ultimate Vulcaning. Holy 115 scrap or something, Batman. Weapons officer has one order. Hold down the trigger and never let go. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I could do that, sir. So I don't even have to aim? Okay, I got you. <laughs> uh, let's see. O2, value point, value point. Power. One more power and we're looking pretty good here. So defense drone has power. Backup added to cloaking. We basically have everything we need. Everything else is gravy. Wouldn't it be cool if hacking drones turned enemy defense drones into offense ones on your side and vice versa? Oh my god. That'd be amazing until the first time it happened to you. Then you'd hate it. So. It's actually a quote on some arcade game because you do have infinite ammo. Nice. Alright, we are gonna defense drone this. Wow, look at all these drone parts he's got. Defense drone, offensive drone, and a hacking drone. You, sir. You're a hacksaw. You'll hit something eventually if you have enough lasers. That's right. That's the idea behind um, Desert Eagle's one ship, uh, one weapon. The, that's the Stormtrooper laser or whatever. That was that was a fun weapon that he came up with. It's basically a Vulcan that fires two to three times faster than a Vulcan, but has the accuracy of the worst flak you've ever seen. It basically has the AOE of, of more than the entire ship, but it fires so fast that it, it's still OP. <laughs> that is, I think that is on my YouTube somewhere. Oh, did that just kill him? Okay. Laser solve everything. That's right. Okay, we're getting a lot of scrap here. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four. Oh, do I dive here? It's a super fun weapon, and it's more overpowered than he meant it to be, unsurprisingly. Um, if I want to run away from a bad hack, I can't go this way. Because if I go this way, I think I get there too late to run away and come back. But I do have defense drawn. I, I really don't want to dive, though. I don't have hull repair drone. I am actually going to play this a little risky here. I'm going to sleep and listen to the stream. All right, Kenny. Enjoy your sleeping, sir. Wow. Defense drone mark two. The counter to Vulcan. Oh, it's not a counter to double burst laser two, though. Kenny's eyebrow of evilness. Okay, that's fine. Uh, as long as you shoot down the missile... Okay, we are cloaking this for sure. Um, do I want to use a hacking drone? I kind of do. His defense is pretty strong. If I hack his drone control, we might just destroy his defense drone. I have enough drones that I don't feel too bad about using one drone. There we go. Nice. Okay, attack his drones. Uh, our defense drone's still alive. Okay, good. Damn, didn't kill the defense 2 drone. That's the only one I wanted to kill. Now, if we just kill his drone control, we'll be fine. Good job, defense drone. Playing for score. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not really playing for score. I'm really playing for not taking hull damage, because we don't have a way to recover hull damage. So. Oh, it's dead. I can't hack a system that's dead. That's dead. Okay. Can't hack a dead system. This hacking trick is so strong. Oh, yeah. Sneaking up by a defense drone? Absolutely. That was one of the main things I wanted to make sure I did in my beginner video, show that, because that is such a useful strategy. 
Okay, hopefully I don't get forced to dive here anyway. Thankfully, we didn't get forced to dive there. So we're going to get there basically the last possible chance we can before he uh, takes over the the uh, base, I think. The wiggle on the defense drone when they, they didn't know which way to shoot. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, okay, 14 drone parts. I'm going to try to not use a drone part. Just go for his piloting here. Imagine if someone made defense drones an actual offensive drone. Are you talking about when you hacked it or something? Hey, nice. We actually got a shot off there. Um, do I want to cloak this or do I want to cloak? Let's let's not cloak this. Okay, that's fine. Save it for the big laser. Nice. No more dodges. Perfect. Hi, Randall. Liked your guy on FTL. Hope you can finally get a win. Nice, Weibo Assassino. I hope so. That was the point. <laughs> Try to help people who are trying to get their first win. Hack that system. Unable, sir. What? That ship is in five pieces. <laughs> I don't care about your excuses. <laughs> you hack it or you're fired. You're out the airlock. Next time you go shieldless, try double defense two. I've tried stacking defense drones. I don't like that strategy. But if you were going to go double defense drones, probably two defense two drones would be the best. Problem is it doesn't do anything against lasers. I mean, uh, beam weapons. So... Kind of worthless against beam weapons. Sensors. You know, I'm actually at a point where I can just get more dodge. I, I'm never... I hardly ever at a place where I can just get... Spend stuff on inefficient dodge purchases here. It's crazy. Or uh, diminishing returns. Not inefficient, but I guess diminishing returns is inefficient. Prepare to fight. Okay, get that defense drone up. Believe in the salt and you can achieve anything. That's right, believe in the salt. Next time you go, uh, let's see, 120% dodge gets hit by every missile. <laughs> uh, okay, good. You shot down that missed thing, but it's fine. Uh, let's cloak this. Dodge the, the bomb. The defense drone actually got distracted by the hacking drone, which is not something you see very often. Good job. Clone bay upgrade? Nah. Level 2 clone bay is plenty. In my opinion. If I was doing some sort of boarding, maybe, but... Getting like 50% dodge is pretty insane. I don't hardly ever get it, but it's really good when if you can. Surprise there isn't a reflective augment or something that partially protects against beams or something, even if not too useful just for flavor. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I guess that would be an interesting extra augment. Okay, so that's... I can't actually get any more power, so I'm going to have to backup battery. I have to level 2 backup battery, so let's just get dodge... Hacking and level 2 cloaking if we want it. So I guess the only other thing would be other value points. So I guess doors because I don't have mind control. I actually, phase 3 of the boss could be really bad if we don't kill a lot of crew. We should be able to kill a lot of crew if we just shoot their shields a bunch of times on phase 1. So, And I, I am going to use defense drone. And hope he doesn't let a weapon hack through. Okay. That was weird. He shot it on top of himself. Okay. So, I usually hack shields. If I want them to... If I want a crew kill here, I think it might actually be better to hack heal bay. Because Vulcan's going to do my work for killing the shields anyway. I'm going to try something slightly different than my normal build here. I'm actually going to hack Heal Bay. It's going to take a while for a Vulcan to spin up, so I think level 3 heal, uh, level three hacking on a Heal Bay will just kill this guy outright. Because I need to kill crew for later phases. Okay, here comes the 
comes the missile volley. Nice. Okay. Wouldn't 02 hack be smoother? Uh, it's level 302, and I don't think the fight will last long enough long enough to do that. Besides, I don't want to kill all of his crew. I only want to kill some of his crew. If I kill all of his crew, that's um, actually hurting me. Okay, so I won't be able to cloak this one. We do have 51% dodge and defense drone, though. Nice. Why are you guys trying to go in the heal bay? Okay. Don't need my defense drone right now, so let's go ahead and just... Oh, crap. They're going to run right back out. Freaking hell. I should have waited. Go. I definitely could have done this better. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure their O2 is level 3. I think it is, anyway. Does higher level oxygen drain more with hacking? No. Higher level hacking... Actually, I don't know. Okay. He's going to be stuck in this room to kill this guy. He's dead. Don't have cloaking here with 51% dodge. Oh, my defense drone is dead. Okay, we took one damage. That's not bad at all. They're going to be stuck in this room. Okay. One damage phase, phase one is not bad at all. We killed two or three crew, I think. Maybe three. Uh, come on in, boys. The radiation is fine. <laughs> you think Crow said last night it's level three? I'm like 80% sure that he's got level 302. I don't know if that's the same on every phase, because I think, I think the boss's um, levels of systems change for each phase. Somebody else who knows more details, like Scott, Onesie Wilson, or somebody might know that better. We've got three cookies on a plate in front of me, one for each phase. <laughs> nice, depressing, Kessie. All right. Um, I might save to see if we can get level three clone bay as our final upgrade. Checking the wiki, it says two. Does it say which phase, though? As we do know that the missile has four power in phase three. And I don't think it has four power in all three phases. It's two on all phases? Okay. All right, well, I guess I'll trust the wiki. There, did it right that time. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just we'll just do the shield hack this time. This will let our first volley get through anyway. All right, need to save my cloaking. Can't use it on the missile. Is that one shot that human? No, not quite. All right, can't cloak this. Damn it. What a fail of a defense drone you are. You, sir, are a failure. Um, you guys, please do not let my defense drone go offline. Please, thank you. Okay, here it comes. Stop the auto fire. Cloak this. Damn, I should have waited for the missile. The missile was just about to fire. All right, it's fine. Wow, he's dodging like a champion. Could you dodge less like a champion and more like a a failure? Oh man, double O2 fire. <laughs> uh. Okay, we're gonna open this and then close it so they're trapped in there and hopefully we kill them. Maybe got another kill there. All right, three or four damage, phase two. Not bad at all. We'll take that. As soon as they get level one, let's go out so that we can get some O2 first. What if, what even is this hacked heal bay thing? Radiation, electric shock, just poison medicine? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> An overdose. Keep feeding them pills. Force feeding pills down their throat till they die. What a way to go. An addict's way to die. Don't bully defense drone. He's doing his best. Oh, God. I, I bully defense drones all the time because they are such failures. It's too often. 
Imagine opening the medicine cabinet. Instead of getting a roll of band-aids, it's a roll of syringes filled with pain. <laughs> this is so intense. This is not quite as intense as some of my other fights, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. 57 scrap, so I can get um, Max Clone Bay. So I don't have the mind control counter. So if my pilot gets countered, I'm going to have to, like, kill him and spawn, uh, clone him or something like that. So... That's probably going to be the biggest pain of this final phase. But we will be able to run away if needed. Use our abduction strats. Hmm. Am I okay with that? I don't think so. We're going to just kill that guy. It loses us a power, but... It's fine. Okay, you guys will not go where I want you to go. There we go. Oh, oh. Filthy humans. Okay, you're dead. Okay, back to your positions, except you can stay there. One human. Okay, we threw that uh, thing yet. Okay, this is a great time for... Actually, we're going to use level 1 cloaking here. Stop our auto-fire. Perfect. Okay. You go there. Get our hacking. We could go ahead and do this. Beautiful. Keep those shields down. My control on my engines guy. I think I'm actually fine with that. We should finish this before that will be too big of a deal. Eh. Eh. Let's just kill him. Anybody who's mind controlled as a traitor doesn't deserve to live. Alright, no shields. Kill your missiles. Did I just take no missiles? Holy crap. Holy crap, that... <laughs> that mind-controlled mantis just killed my other two mantis. <laughs> GG, cookie time, boys. We did it. I was not expecting my double mantis to get 1v2'd there. Oh, my God. 500 bits from Ninja Kiwi. Thank you so much, my friend. Appreciate that. Oh, man. Level 3 mind control on a mantis is freaking crazy, by the way. All right. Pew, pew, ship challenge. Happiness recovered. Less salty from the early runs. Yeah, that level 3 mind control buff is crazy. I don't even think that Mantis had any fighting training. He just became Neo. You know, he got hacked by the Matrix. He woke up and said, I know Kung Fu. And then proceeded to kill my double Mantis. Uh, 6286. That's a freaking good score right there. That's my highest score on that ship. <laughs> nice. All pew pew, no QQ. And we even get really nice round numbers. 50 ships defeated, 100 beacons explored, and 20. We almost had 22 scrap that run. Holy crap. Wow, what a run. All right. Okay. Um, so that is. Um, oh, God. That's a sub. Faith with the two months in a row. Thank you so much for your continued randomness, FF10 Faith. I appreciate that. You are so nice. The people are awesome with subbing and keeping me company and all that stuff. All right, let me let me write down on my list here, on my checklist of going through as intended. Kestrel B, done as a pew pew ship. Done. Pew pew. Vulcan plus two first laser twos. All right, so now we're going to have to do a more difficult ship because, you know, that ship was freaking OP as hell. <laughs> Did you imagine a full-trained, mind-controlled Mantis just rips the shield in half by itself? Chuck Mantis! <laughs> 
He doesn't board your ship. Your ship spontaneously combusts when he looks at it. What's left for as intended? Um, I'll probably only do a couple more. Um, give me your ideas for ships we haven't done for as intended, because I'm going to stand up, stretch, use the restroom, and take a break real quick. Thank you all so much for watching. If there's anybody new to the challenge, new to the challenge, new to the stream, please do the follow. I hope you guys are enjoying the challenge runs uh, and the FTL. Um, let me know what ships you think would be uh, good for as intended. I still want to do Manta C as kind of a boarding and venting type of thing. We tried the... Uh, NGA wants for all ions and drones. We've tried a couple others that I could do another try. But I'll be right back, my friends. <laughs> 